to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we were actually not going to be doing this toy hunt. This toy hunt kind of just fell in our laps. I've actually, I was I was just chilling around, just, just hanging out, and then my boy Jonathan texted me. You guys know him, been on the channel multiple times, and he still gets the Brick Seek updates. He got out of the game. He's not really collecting figures anymore, but he does have the Brick Seek updates on his phone. He texted me, I'll plug in the message, and he said, I checked Brick Seek, and it says Walmart has limited stock on Sting. Not sure if it's accurate, though. So what we're going to do, Brad, is we're going to get the hell in the car, and we're going to go to Walmart and see if they actually have have it. Now, I don't know what to expect, you know, uh, uh, some of these things. It, it could not even be on the shelves, right? It may not even be on the shelves. We may pull up to Walmart, go in there, and there'll be nothing there. I haven't been to this specific Walmart since uh, all that trash. You guys remember, like, the aisle was destroyed, and everything was, like, out of place, and there was freaking ramen on the shelf, and there was this, and there was that, and it was absolutely destroyed. It was from our crazy toy hunt. I haven't been there in, I want to say a month, maybe, or maybe a little over a month, or a little bit under a month, but we have not been there in a very long time, so at least in figure standards, like toy hunting standards. So I'm going to go there. That is where we're going to head. Hopefully we find the Sting figure, but we won't know unless we go, man. So hopefully this isn't a bust. I guess you guys will know if it's a bust by probably the thumbnail or something like that, man. But let's shut the hell up, man. Let's go ahead and I'll see you guys on the aisle or at the Walmart when we get there, man. Let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We freaking found him. Oh, my God. What the hell is this? Dude, what the hell is this? It's literally been just plastered. Somebody beat the shit out of Sting and stuck him back on the shelf. Oh my god. Like, dude, look at this. I don't think anything's missing from it, but good lord. Are there any others, though? We got Chris Jericho over here. Got some elites. Got some of those things going on. I don't see anything under here, but my god, man. What the hell? Did, did somebody just beat the hell out of the Sting? They moved the aisle, though. This is weird. They... This is not where the aisle usually is for me. The aisle is usually in a different spot here. Last time we were here, it was an absolute wreck. But they have Chris Jericho. I got the sting under the arm there. So, you know, we got to take care of business, make sure nobody grabs it. We got Alistair Black, Elite 85, Undertaker. Tons of this figure going on. Got a lot of John Cena's over here. The ATV, got Elite 85. I don't know if these Elite 85s will ever leave. You know, there's not as many as there was last time, I don't think. But, I don't know, man. Like, Series 6 Jericho, there's Cross... I cannot believe we found the Sting, though, man. We found the Sting. That's the number one important thing. We did get the Sting. Huge shout-out to Jonathan for that. We got FDR chilling right here. Probably the worst figure they've ever made. Got Dax Harwood over here. I'm so giddy right now, man. I can't believe we found it. Got a couple of Nyla Rose, but we found the figure, but it's absolutely destroyed. Jeff Hardy top picks. Basic ring. Not much else going on over here. Got those little stretchums over there. Bash and bend or whatever the hell they call them, but I mean... These Elite 85 figures have not moved at all. Um, oh, my God. Look at this. <laughs> I, I said they hadn't moved. Yeah, they haven't moved, man. Look at this right here. Check this out. Tons of John Cena over here, man. Tons of it. There is so much stuff here, though. There's so much stuff here. Tons of John... There's so many John Cena's. There's like 30. And you got all the Undertakers, Aleister Blacks, Bray Wyatt's. Before we leave, though, I do want to check out the other spots in the aisle. You never know what you're going to find. But a mission accomplished, though. Mission accomplished. This Roman Reigns looks dope as hell, though. I didn't know he had the gold gauntlet on there. Roman looks really dope. I don't see anything behind anything. You know, I'm not I'm not noticing anything. But somebody beat the hell out of the sting, man. Somebody beat the hell out of it and crushed him. But the figure's here. You know, it's a win-win. I'm going to open it anyways, so that kind of sucks. But at least I'm going to open it. I'm not a mock collector. Here's some DC Multiverse. I feel like a lot of people are looking for this Batman, you know, display case. So there's there's that for any of you, you know, uh, DC fans out there or McFarland out there. I do want to check out some other areas, though. Make sure that we cover all of our bases here. We found the Sting, but you never really know what you're going to find. Got some Ninja Turtle stuff. Got some more DC going on right here. We've got some, oh snap, in heaven, bro. I've never seen the integrated suit at, at retail right here. What else we got over here? Let's say we got the full way. We got a John Cena random over there. We got another integrated suit. Dude, I may be spending some money here today, bro. I may be spending, we got Jonah Jameson. We got black and gold suit. We got, I got, I got, I can't even like film and do everything at the same time, but got Miles Morales in the house. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, uh, bro, I may, be, I may be spending money here. I might be spending money here. We got Miles Morales in the house, which looks beautiful. Cash out on all the Marvel Legends, man. Got Doctor Strange. 
Now, I don't really care for the rest of the wave. You do have Jonah Jameson, though, in black and gold. So, oh my god, what? No way. Yes, sir. We got the symbiote Spider-Man. Been looking for the symbiote Spider-Man. I think I have to... I'm going to have to take all these off the hooks or the pegs real quick just to get to it. But you guys know I've been looking for the symbiote Spider-Man forever. We finally found it. Hell yes. Been definitely looking for this for a while now. So we can finally cash in on that. Definitely got to get a shot of this for you guys. But... I'm still sitting on the shocker, but I cannot believe we found it, bro. How beautiful. What a beautiful piece. I gotta I gotta definitely put him down with Sting and stuff. I don't want to lose stuff. I, this, this Walmart's actually really busy right now, so I want to make sure that I don't lose anything. But holy hell, man. What a, what a day. What a day. We're going to spend a lot of money here today. I don't know exactly what I'm all I'm going to get, you know, going back and forth from different things. But shocker's a maybe... I gotta put the phone down, man. I gotta, I gotta settle everything out. I'll see you guys back at the crib. Oh my God in heaven, Brad. I spent a lot of money. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. It was a lot of money, but we're gonna break into what we got. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Let's dive into what we picked up, man. I, I just can't believe it, okay? Okay, we gotta get something out of the way, first of all. I mean, it's destroyed, okay? It is destroyed. It's absolutely mangled. Now, I have, I have suspicions. I don't know if the, you know, like, was it delivered to the Walmart location like this? Was it, uh, you know, did somebody see it on the aisle and just punch it right in the face and destroy the packaging? I can't tell, but it looks like somebody gripped it and, like, tried to, like, rip the sting out. Like, there's a perfect hole for it right here. Like, there's a perfect hole right here where I can reach into the packaging. You guys see that? Like, I can reach through the front, but it's like they were trying to, like, finagle him out, maybe, or something like that. I can't really tell, but it looks like it was destroyed somehow, or somebody, like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but it does look like somebody, like, was ripping away at it at the top because no other damage is in there except for this dent right here in the side. There's a dent right here, as you guys can see, and then everything up top, but it looks like somebody was trying to do that, and then they either got spooked or or what the case was. I don't know. It's a $20 figure, bro. It's, it's, it's literally $20 to $25. Don't steal figures if you can't afford them. If you can't afford a $20 figure, bro, either leave it for somebody else. Like, don't steal figures, bro. Don't steal figures. Stop. That Walmart has a terrible problem with this. I wouldn't even, it wouldn't even shock me if it was the same person. You know, they, they come in there, they, they swap figures all the damn time. We saw Carmelo Anthony in a low-key box. We've seen, we've seen all kinds of crazy swaps at that Walmart location. I'm just glad we found the Sting. Now, I gotta give a huge shout out to my man, Michael, who lives maybe an hour away from me. He found the Sting in pristine condition and he sold it to me for about retail price huge shot to him man because thanks to him this doesn't ruin my day because yes it's damaged whatever it would have been cool to see it mock on the shelf but i'm gonna open this anyways okay i'm gonna open this anyways i don't think we need to review it if you guys want to see a review i guess we can you know quick little reviewsies but huge shout out to michael man i'm gonna open this i didn't have one loose now i have one for loose i already have my mock one so that worked out fantastically but not only did we get this thing i spent a lot of money today bro i spent a lot of money today uh, and I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it, but I didn't expect to find such things. I was just looking for the Sting or a Chase or something. We did see Series 6 Jericho, which is weird because it was the only Series 6 figure that they had, right? They may have had a Sheeta, but regardless of the fact, man, this is a beautiful pickup. I'm so glad that we found this. Now I don't have to worry about finding another one, man. That That is absolutely beautiful. So happy to find the Sting figure finally. And I guess it is a Chase figure. It's 16B, but it does have the red number on there, so I guess if you want to call it a Chase, I don't think it's like one of 5,000. I don't know how many there are. I'd like to talk to Jeremy and see, you know, how many of these things there are. That would be a really cool uh, thing to learn. You know, maybe is it 5,000? Is it 10,000? Is it 8,000? Is it three or 1,000? I doubt it's that low, but you guys get what I'm saying. Anyways, let's shut the hell up and show off what else we got here. So I did not expect to find those Marvel Legends, man. I did not expect to find those Marvel Legends. So I went ahead and I picked up a few for the collection here. I did grab Jonah Jameson. You know, I, uh, I don't know. I just, I really wanted to, uh, start on the Spider-Man Marvel Legends kick and, uh, you know, sort of like the MCU Spider-Man Marvel Legends kick. So I wanted J. Jonah Jameson and I, I wanted to add him to the collection. Almost fumbled the bag. Got him right there. I went ahead and grabbed him. I went ahead and grabbed Miles Morales, the Gamerverse PS5 or, or Gamerverse, whatever you want to call it. Spider-Man Miles Morales. Thought it was a sick figure. Can't pass that. Like, again, man, I'm not like huge into Marvel Legends, but when I see them at retail or I find them for a really, really good price on eBay, I go ahead and cop it. I'm not like a super, like, you know, like ultra focus 
biggest Marvel Legends collector like I am with the WWE or wrestling or just AEW figures, but with the release of No Way Home Man, I was like, you know what? I might as well dive the hell into this, so that's what we're doing here with our Marvel Legends. I, I don't know. I, I don't even have the room for this. What are we doing? Now, outside of that, we picked up two integrated suit Spider-Man. Now, I have been looking for this figure for a very long time on the pegs, and I never, ever came across it, man. I saw Doctor Strange multiple times, but I grabbed two integrated suit Spider-Mans. I'll open one. I'll leave one mock. Now, like, collecting mock Marvel Legends, that just sounds insane to me, at least for my standards. Like, that is not something that I would have done a long time ago, man, but here we are. I don't know how deep I'll go with it. It'll probably just be a figure-by-figure figure basis. But on top of this, we also grabbed the black and gold suit. Now, I know it's not screen accurate. It's not accurate at all, but I figured I probably needed it, right? They're pro I hope that we honestly get, like, a re-release of this down the line with all the details, because you guys know that I think they had to design this figure way before the movie was released. So I think they had to use, like, screen grabs and stuff just to get this figure. But hopefully, uh, but maybe we'll get a better one, but I figured I needed it. It's not gonna be mock. I'm gonna open this one up. You guys can see the cards bent there, so there's that. And last but not least, the figure we've been looking for, we grabbed the Symbiote Spider-Man, and really it's not technically the Symbiote Spider-Man, if you get what I'm saying, but it's a black suit Spider-Man, regardless if it's the cloth suit or actually Symbiote. It's not really Symbiote, as far as accuracy is concerned, but I love the way this figure looks, not only mock, but just in general. You guys know that on the channel we've been looking for this, so I was just happy to finally find it, man. We found the Symbiote Spider-Man. Didn't expect it. I almost got Shocker and Hammerhead as well, but I decided against it, but uh, I don't know, man. It just feels kind of cool to be buying other figures outside of wrestling, so that's really awesome. I'm trying to expand upon that collection. Maybe we can grow that slowly but surely and, uh, you know, fix up everything, and I just need a bigger house with a nice basement, man. Nice size basement. I can fill it up with all my mock figures, all the loose, the arenas, everything, man. We can get all that set up. The computer, like, God, gotta make it happen, man, so we're just gonna speak that into existence, man. This year, we're gonna have a new house. We're gonna have a big, nice basement for all of this stuff to go in, and it's gonna be wonderful, and uh, I'm claiming it in Jesus' name, but it was an epic day of hunting, man. We got the symbiote Spider-Man. We got the integrated suit. Two of them. We got Miles Morales. We got the black and gold. We got the J. Jonah Jameson. We got our elusive Sting. Holy crap, man. We finally got our Sting, so I think I'm literally starting a... Mo I, I, I want to get a symbiote Spider-Man mock as well, so that'll be something. I don't know if I'll keep that one mock or search for a loose one. I don't know what the case is there, man, but had a ton of fun on the hunt. I'm just glad that we actually found the Sting, man. That's so huge. Again, it wasn't going to be today's upload, but we found it, and that's all that matters, man. So what we're going to do is we're just going to chalk that up for a W. Hope you guys did enjoy. And uh, I think we have My Damn Halls returning tomorrow. So that'll be excellent as well. Got some epic stuff on the way for you guys. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace and blessings. And uh, we finally got the sting, man. And I crossed the line today because I spent way too much money. You crossed the line. I've been